Have you ever wondered what silence sounds like in the vast emptiness of space? For months, Voyager 1, the most distant human-made object, was silent, lost in the black depths beyond our solar system. But now, against all odds, a signal has broken through the cosmic void. After 46 years in space, Voyager 1 has spoken again. Today, we're diving deep into this incredible moment, what happened, how it was fixed, and what this means for the future of deep space exploration. Buckle up. Space fans, this is one signal you won't want to miss. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 was designed for a four-year mission to study the outer planets. But it didn't stop there. This brave little spacecraft has gone on to make history. It flew by Jupiter and Saturn, delivered stunning images of moons and rings, and then set off toward interstellar space. In 2012, Voyager 1 officially left the heliosphere, the bubble of particles surrounding our solar system, and became the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. Since then, it's continued transmitting data from over 15 billion miles away. Think about that. A spacecraft the size of a small car powered by less energy than a light bulb still sending us information after nearly five decades. Voyager 1 has become a symbol of our boundless curiosity and the desire to reach beyond the stars. But in 2023, something went terribly wrong in November 2023, and ASA engineers noticed something strange. Voyager 1's data stream was garbled unreadable. Its signal was still there, but the data made no sense. For weeks, engineers struggled to figure out what went wrong. At such vast distances, two-way communication takes nearly 45 hours. Diagnosing the problem was like trying to fix a watch from across a football field in the dark with gloves on. Eventually, they determined that the Flight Data Subsystem, FDE's, one of Voyager's three core computing systems, had likely corrupted its memory. This meant that while the spacecraft was still alive and transmitting, it couldn't package its science data properly. NASA was left with a heartbreaking thought. Voyager 1 might never talk to us meaningfully again. But NASA isn't known for giving up easily. The Jet Propulsion Laboratory team began crafting a solution one byte at a time. In early 2024, they sent a series of remote commands to probe deeper into Voyager systems. After months of patience, they struck gold. A single command allowed them to peek into a different memory bank, and there it was, the code that had gone wrong. By March 2024, NASA engineers pulled off a feat of interstellar surgery. They reprogrammed Voyager 1 to bypass the faulty code and reroute its data. In April, the spacecraft sent back its first clear message in months. The data was solid. Voyager 1 was alive and working again. This wasn't just a technical fix. It was a testament to human ingenuity fixing a computer system designed before the internet existed with no physical access 15 billion miles away. If that's not science magic, what is? Now that it's back online, what is Voyager 1 actually saying? The spacecraft continues to measure cosmic rays, magnetic fields, and plasma waves in interstellar space. This data helps scientists understand what lies beyond our solar system and gives us a glimpse of the galactic environment that Earth is traveling through. Recently, Voyager's instruments picked up intriguing plasma fluctuations, likely caused by distant stellar events or cosmic shock waves. These subtle variations tell a story of space that's not as empty as we thought. Even 15 billion miles out, space is dynamic, mysterious, and very much alive. Every bit of data Voyager sends back helps build a roadmap of the unknown. It's like exploring a new ocean with a bottle message, and each message makes the universe a little less foreign, a little more familiar. Voyager 1's comeback reminds us why exploration matters. It shows that even outdated technology, when engineered well, can defy time and distance. With each pulse it sends back, Voyager whispers a simple truth that the spirit of discovery cannot be silenced. But its mission won't last forever. Voyager 1's power source is fading. 
By the early 2030, yes, it will fall silent forever. And yet, it will continue its journey an eternal ambassador carrying the golden record, a time capsule of Earth's music, greetings, and culture drifting among the stars. As we build the next generation of interstellar probes, Voyager's triumph sets the standard. It proves that with courage, vision, and determination, we can touch the cosmos, and sometimes it touches back. One of the most poetic elements of Voyager 1 is the golden record. This copper phonograph disc, attached to the body of the spacecraft, contains 116 images, natural sounds, greetings in 55 languages, and a collection of music from Bach to Chuck Berry. It's essentially a time capsule intended to communicate the story of Earth to any intelligent extraterrestrial life that may encounter it. Curated by a team led by Carl Sagan, the Golden Record represents humanity's desire not only to explore, but to connect. It captures our essence, joy, sorrow, hope, laughter, and culture. While Voyager 1 will likely never be found, the mere act of including this record is deeply symbolic. It tells us something profound about the human spirit that even in the vast unknown, we seek to be understood. The golden record is not just for aliens. It's a reminder for us, a self-reflection on who we were at that moment in time. And now, with Voyager speaking again, it feels almost like that message is still alive still flying strong. Voyager 1 often gets the spotlight, but it has a twin Voyager 2. Launched just weeks before Voyager 1, Voyager 2 took a different route and became the only spacecraft to visit all four gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Voyager 2 entered interstellar space in 2018, six years after its sibling. Like Voyager 1, it's still operational still transmitting data and facing the same challenges of dwindling power and ancient hardware. In fact, in 2023, Voyager 2 also had a brief communication glitch, but was swiftly brought back online. These spacecraft, though traveling different paths, share a common goal to push the boundaries of what's possible. Their twin missions have provided humanity with a stereoscopic view of our solar system's edge and beyond. In many ways, Voyager 2's journey reinforces the idea that our reach must extend in all directions. And with both spacecraft still functioning, they act like ghostly sentinels on opposite ends of the interstellar frontier. You might wonder, how does Voyager 1 still have power after nearly 50 years? The answer lies in its radioisotope thermoelectric generators, ARTGs. These devices convert heat from decaying plutonium-238 into electricity, supplying Voyager with just enough juice to keep its systems running. But docks aren't infinite. Voyager 1 loses about 4 watts of power each year, meaning engineers must make difficult choices shutting down instruments one by one to keep the mission alive. Already, several of its original systems have gone silent. Despite the decline, the Oort Gs have vastly outperformed their life expectancy proving the effectiveness of nuclear power in deep space missions. NASA has used art cheese on other spacecraft like Cassini and the Mars Curiosity rover, but Voyager's endurance is especially legendary. As we think about future missions to the outer planets and beyond, the success of art cheese on Voyager 1 paves the way for future innovation. It's a story not just of scientific ambition, but of energy efficiency under the harshest conditions imaginable. Communicating with Voyager 1 isn't as simple as dialing it up. Every message sent and received must travel more than 15 billion miles a journey that takes over 22 hours each way. That means nearly two days pass between a command being sent and receiving confirmation. This process relies on the Deep Space Network, DSNA Global Array, of massive radio antennas located in California, Spain, and Australia. These 70-meter dishes are among the most powerful tools for interstellar communication. The signals sent to and from Voyager are incredibly weak, less than a billionth of a billionth of a watt by the time they reach Earth. 
it's like detecting the heat of a match on the moon. Engineers must deal with noise, signal degradation, and the spacecraft's aging hardware. Yet despite these challenges, the line remains open. Voyager's voice, though faint, is still heard. It's a triumph of communication engineering and a reminder that no distance is too great when curiosity leads the way. As Voyager 1 continues to drift through the stars, it does so on borrowed time. By the early 2030s, its power source will no longer support any instruments or communication systems. The spacecraft will go silent, entering a long, cold slumber as it continues its journey through the galaxy. But even in death, Voyager 1 won't be lost. It will become an eternal traveler, orbiting the center of the Milky Way every 225 million years. It could outlive humanity itself, silently preserving our record in the dark. The final decade of its life is bittersweet. Each year, scientists will shut down one system after another, prioritizing essential instruments. Each decision is strategic, squeezing out every last bit of data before the lights go out. Voyager's long goodbye is a testament to endurance and precision. It reminds us that every mission, no matter how advanced, has a sunset. But what a legacy Voyager 1 will leave behind a footprint, not in soil, but in the stars. When Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause in 2012, it officially left the protective bubble created by the sun's solar wind. This boundary, known as the edge of the heliosphere, marks the beginning of true interstellar space. Beyond this line, Voyager is no longer within our solar system as we know it. But what does interstellar really mean? It's not just a poetic idea. Interstellar space is filled with charged particles, cosmic rays, and magnetic fields from other stars. Voyager 1 is providing data on this alien environment information we've never had before. It's currently traveling through the local interstellar cloud, a region scientists believe contains remnants of ancient supernovae. Voyager's instruments help us understand the density, pressure, and magnetic turbulence in this mysterious region. While Voyager won't encounter another star system for over 40,000 years, it continues to map uncharted space with every mile it drifts. At the edge of everything we've ever known, Voyager is literally trailblazing a path into the galactic wilderness. Voyager 1 launched with 10 scientific instruments. As of now, only a few remain operational, but even those few are delivering valuable insights. These instruments include the Cosmic Ray Subsystem, CRS Magnetometer, MAG, and Plasma Wave Subsystem, PWS. The CRS detects high-energy particles coming from outside the solar system, cosmic rays that offer clues about distant galaxies. The MAG provides readings of the magnetic field in interstellar space, helping scientists trace the movement and origin of stellar phenomena. The PWS captures the eerie sounds of space, actually plasma waves translated into audible frequencies. Though designed in the 1970s, these tools continue to perform well in the extreme cold and radiation of deep space. Their resilience is astonishing and their data is irreplaceable. Each instrument still active today is like a seasoned explorer, pushing beyond its limits, documenting the unseen. And with each bit of data, they continue to challenge our understanding of space and physics. Voyager's lonely journey speaks to one of the greatest questions in science. Are we alone in the universe? While Voyager itself wasn't designed to search for life, its mission represents humanity's broader quest to reach beyond our world. By sending Voyager and its golden record into space, we made a symbolic gesture. We are here. It's a bold message to any intelligent life that may one day discover it. Even if it takes a billion years, Voyager's presence in the cosmos offers a chance, however small, to connect with another civilization. The search for life continues with more advanced telescopes and probes, but Voyager 1's journey is the emotional cornerstone of that search. It's the first emissary from Earth to step into the great unknown. And while we haven't heard back from anyone else yet, Voyager's endurance keeps the question alive and our hopes burning. 
One of Voyager 1's most iconic moments came in 1990, when, at Carl Sagan's urging, it turned its camera back toward Earth and snapped a photo from 3.7 billion miles away. In that image, Earth appears as a tiny speck, a pale blue dot suspended in a sunbeam. That photo, and Sagan's reflection on it, became a defining moment in the history of space exploration. He reminded us of our fragility, unity, and the vastness that surrounds us. That's here. That's home. That's us. This simple image encapsulated Voyager's deeper mission to humble us, to inspire awe, and to give us perspective. The fact that this photo was taken by the same spacecraft that now cruises through interstellar space is profoundly poetic. As Voyager 1 continues beyond our solar system, it carries with it not only data and instruments, but dreams the dreams of scientists like Sagan, who saw space as a mirror for our humanity. While Voyager 1 may be alone out there, it's far from forgotten. Behind every signal received is a dedicated team of engineers, scientists, and technicians, many of whom have spent their entire careers with the mission. Some members of the original Voyager team have retired or passed on, but a new generation has taken the reins, maintaining communication and adapting 1970S technology to work with modern tools. They've had to reverse engineer outdated code, reconstruct lost documentation, and problem solve with almost no margin for error. In 2024, when Voyager sent its first clean signal after months of silence, it was a victory not just for technology, but for teamwork and persistence. These engineers are like interstellar doctors, performing remote surgery, working with tools older than many of them. Their ingenuity ensures that Voyager keeps flying, keeps speaking, and keeps making history. Voyager's journey has not only captured the imagination of scientists, but also storytellers, filmmakers, and artists. It has appeared in everything from Star Trek, the motion picture to Cosmos, symbolizing both the loneliness and heroism of exploration. In pop culture, Voyager is often portrayed as a lone wanderer, a spacefaring Odysseus, or an interstellar time capsule. Its silent mission resonates with themes of legacy, discovery, and the unknown. Even music inspired by Voyager's golden record has surfaced in modern times. Artists have sampled its greetings and sounds to create works that echo the emotion behind this cosmic voyage.